Let's agree to disagree. Hello everybody, this is Zhou Jinshu and Beautiful Life. Right now I come to Pacific Policy. Wow, it's like the weather so beautiful. Like I come to hear the a paradise. Today I want to interview the achiever from the hollow. He is a Paul Addison. And I think many people I would know him. He's a three Academy uh, Awards winner. So, hi, hello. Hi, Joe, hi. Yeah, Paul, you. nice to meet you here. Uh, you are my superhero right now in the pandemic. Thank uh, you. you. Thank you for uh, inviting me to come to your uh, beautiful garden here. And I want to know, uh, so when the, uh, have you been to China? I want to know. Yeah, we've been twice to China. Uh, in 2008, went to Hong Kong. In 2010, to uh, mainland China. We were there for the Shanghai Film Festival and uh, I was uh, presenting awards. And uh, it was World's Fair was also in Shanghai that year. And we also had some business endeavors. We traveled around a little bit around Shanghai. But I heard that you have the uh, Chinese wife. You have Chinese wife, right? Yes, I have a Chinese wife, uh, Karen Han. A beautiful, uh, he, a beautiful talent also, woman. Okay, she's uh, also is uh, Oscar the film. A few the Oscar film is uh, 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 play player. Yeah, musical player. Or who? Yeah, I know that. Yeah, she's always uh, been a soloist on on many big movies in in Hollywood. To be nominated then for Oscars for uh, best score. She's a very talented uh, musician. Okay, when you go to China, you said twice, right? Yeah. You Hong Kong, Shanghai. What? Did you get and impressive by yourself? It was uh, uh, going to Hong Kong and Shanghai were well, both beautiful experiences. Uh, Hong Kong felt a little more like a hybrid European China version or uh, what I imagined it being. And then Shanghai was more, well, it, Shanghai was, to me was a very modern city, very beautiful. And then we traveled around and saw some of the ancient China and you, you really feel the history being in, in this great country. Okay, what if the two people, what's the difference between like American people to Chinese people or uh, you be you came from the Sweden, right? I came from Sweden, yeah. yeah. What's a little bit difference the three countries kind of like you are so international. Yeah. You mean you are working in Hollywood, right? Yeah. Hollywood is international. So yeah. could you a little bit tell me what's the difference between the Chinese people and American people and the Sweden people. I would say almost that the Swedish people and Chinese people are a little bit closer together. They're more a little, uh, uh, I think maybe humbler and a little more shyer, more shy. And here, at least in California, people are more outgoing and more uh, open. Uh, but, but I enjoy all three countries for sometimes different reasons and sometimes a similar reason. At the end of it, it's, it's the, the people in there, I think, to make a country great. So the, the, the people that you meet and uh, that's great people in China, great friends in the United States, of course, coming from, from Sweden. Uh, yeah, because right now, why I ask you, Chris, because right now uh, we are all situation with the pandemic of COVID-19 yeah. and uh, uh, China started in the Wuhan and right now in the all Asian country like China, like Singapore, Hong Kong and Japan, and Korea, even Taiwan, they get control. Mm -hmm. Not like the Europe. Sweden is good. Sweden right now is better. Yeah. And like the United States right now, numbers still increase. So, as a artist, yeah. and could you tell me your personal opinion or why? Well, I, I, I think I mean th these countries are governed in three different ways. Uh, uh, you know, if you ch compare China. 
United States and then and the Sweden. They're a little bit, all a bit different. I think like in Sweden, they try to not have any lockdowns at all. And they were thinking, well, if we get enough people sick, we're going to get all I immune for it and then everything's going to be fine. And uh, then you have China, where they were really suc successful at locking down, because I think the government is a stronger government in that way, so they can really get people to stay home and lock in blocks and regions in the United States. Uh, it's a little bit different country. It's not built in either of, of, of those ways. I think it's just built more of use an individual and government was there just to support. So I think people weren't as ready to listen to the government. I think they want to be you know, free or do their own thing. But I, I don't know if, if this is a, a good scenario to express your freedom and stuff. This is a moment you need to listen to the government and your leaders and really stay home and wear your mask and, and be a responsible person. Uh, and I guess we won't completely know until years from now how this all, all works out. Uh, but here now we live in California, as beautiful as this where we live here, uh, you still don't feel really safe. Uh, just yesterday I told my wife, so I, just, I just had enough of this right now. We, I mean, we, we have a great house by the beach and we do stuff in the backyard, fun, but I miss just living life and going out seeing a friend, going to a restaurant, going to a movie theater, or just going anywhere and you'll see a bunch of people. Uh, and I think that's probably the same in all countries. Uh, you know, Sweden or China in the United States, it's, it's the human part we all are, are, are missing. And I think to get to there, we need to be so responsible. So even before we take the mask, mm. so what do you think about the mask? Maybe uh, the Chinese people, Asian people, like Japan, yeah. like the Korean, they have the habit to take the mask. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the American people, they don't have the habit to take the mask. I think it's a That's very a big reason, right? Yeah, no, I think this is a very, very good point. Because uh, we, we travel in most of those Asian countries you mentioned. And uh, I remember just walking down in, uh, like in, in Tokyo. So in, uh, we, we went to Tokyo about uh, uh, 15 years ago. and. Even then, I remember people walking with masks. And when you went to restaurants, you always you had to clean your hands before you got to food. You got little bowls and to clean your hands. And I felt that in all these Asian countries, like Korea and China, that there were already some of that in place. And yeah, in the United States, I think it's, it was a big thing to demand people to wear masks, you know, which seems pretty reasonable right now. And just to wash your hands, you come into the house, you leave, you go to restaurants, and 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 that, and that might be that's a, a fundamentally bit different place where they come from in in all of these countries in Asia. So yeah, I, I I always remember that people are so clean, and I remember uh, we were in the, like a talk. This I said 15 years ago, and I remember a guy sweeping the streets out of the hotel, and he swept it like it was his living room. It was so particular uh, uh, about all of this, and you don't, I think, see the same thing here in the United States. Good. So let's go back to talk about your film. You know, mm. I saw your some your film. You made the mm. soundtrack for there. You are sound designer like your uh, her locker. Yeah. And like the Spider Man. Yeah. Yeah. I also that yeah. movies. Okay. You got the three uh, Academy Awards. Your Oscar winner three times. Yeah. Which film mm -hmm. is your favorite film uh, on your work? Uh, which one is your favorite film yeah. or, or on your work? Yeah, the, they are, you know, that might not be a standout favorite. They are, I like it for various reasons. Sometimes it's the content of the movie, uh, sometimes the director you work with, the story that's, that's being told. Uh, but a, a, a big movie was Hurt Locker for me because it, it changed a little bit how things were done in the industry as a, as a whole, how movies were mixed and what we could and could not do. So it kind of, it broke a little bit the mold of what been in place for a very, very long time before. That, uh, you know, Catherine wanted to take these really bold steps with what do with sound and, uh, and how, we, how we mixed it and so. So, it, it, you know, it stands out and, uh, you know, Catherine is a great director, become a great friend. And uh, but you know you work on this movie like Spider Man and directed by Sam Raimi or you know, Roland Emmerich with 2012, which I think was a big movie in China. It, the movie takes place somewhat in China. They're all you know great memories for me. 
You know, Paul, my talk show is named full name is Zhou Zhenxiu and Beautiful Life. So、yeah. I want to know what's your concept of the beautiful life to yourself. I think you, as an individual, need to find a good place in your heart and your soul who you are, and then try to live that. I, I think most of us knows what is right and what is wrong. But not necessarily. We all express it and and show that to everybody else as often as we, as we should. And、uh, you know, being a, a good husband and a, and a father, and you know, the the community in the world we live in. And I think someone much wiser said that we should try to you know、uh, leave this planet in a better shape than also we when we got there. And clearly, we're not all doing that.、Uh, so that's probably something that. You know, we should all improve on, and should be important to、uh, all of us.、Uh, but building a life,、uh, you know, personal level also, you know, I think you need to educate yourself. You understand,、uh, understand the world, understand、uh, the community you live in, you understand people, and、uh, and learn from those experiences. And I, I think as I getting older, I feel like I know more and more. I tell this to my son all the time. That I feel like the more I know, I realize the very little I know,、uh, and I think that's. I think something to be could be good to build your life on that you don't feel that you are the number one in the world. You know everything there is because you we really know very very little. So、uh, you know, taking a, hum, a humble、uh, approach of、uh, of everything that you see and don't necessarily feel like you are the best in in everything. Even if you at the moment you feel you are, but in a bigger scope of things, there's much bigger things to 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 think about. Like now we have、uh, the coronavirus going on, and I think we all. Hopefully, reflect a little bit who we are, and what we can do better to to build good lives, and, and not just for ourselves, but again for bigger, for the future of our our children and and their children. So big responsibilities. Good. I understand that everybody. This right now, I'm the interview the Paul Atsung, the three Academy Awards winner, and he's beautiful. Concept, the beautiful life. The concept is independent, and the soul and the spirit, and also good family and good education for kids. Thank you, watching Zhou Zhenxiu and Bill Fry. Let's agree to disagree.